finally some success with this driver board. It had an oddball problem in the category of uh, if somebody on Pinside or RGP had asked me, could this happen? I'd say, nah, that never happens. But this board came in for a general rehab. So I replaced C2 and C4, like I always do. And I replaced C5 and all the power and general illumination headers. And I put it in the game. And as soon as I powered up, the knocker would lock on. So I tracked it down. There's a tip 36 that's responsible for driving the knocker in Whitewater. And it is the one with the gold stripe on it. And so I changed it out, even though it tested good. Sometimes they test good with diode test, but they're really failed. I, I changed to tip 102 upstream of it and that didn't fix the problem. I kept on trying to figure out how this thing was finding ground. And the answer was that this diode, which uh, Williams had moved the diodes from the coils to the driver board, <coughs> had shorted. And that diode's not even in that circuit. It's in the circuit for the a flash lamp that goes to the back box. But that shorted diode was causing the problem. So let's put it into test now. I just got done playing. So we'll test all the functions of the driver board. You can hear that knocker's nice and loud. All right, and now we'll go to general illumination and this is my GI tester over on the right. And it's going through each of the five strings in turn and then all strings, so that is working. We will test all the lamps and the flashers at the same time. And this is the second driver board I've repaired for the client. The other one was a pin LED. And here you can see the flashers are all working. So this board is good to go. There are no more driver board functions to test. So... I'm going to get this back to the client happily out of my shop and move everything in the queue up one more slot. Thank you so much for sending both this one and the previous one.